Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. Oh, forgot to do that. Hello, internet people. Nagi Well is back. Uh, I'm gonna be playing some more Psychonauts 2. Um. Well, I, I will as soon as the download for an update finishes. Uh, it, it looked like it was almost done, but now it says it's gonna take eight minutes. Okay. Well, that should be more than enough time for me to uh, go over a few a few other things before we I get started. Uh, first of all, uh, I think I'm gonna change the avatar here. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, using face rig because uh, I'm getting a little bored. Of just being Kirby with like two emotions happy mouth ah and sad mouth mm, closed uh, so yeah uh, me a sec while I change that real quick there we go oh no you can't even see my hmm hold on I'll have to choose a different one uh, this one maybe oh nom, nom, nom. Hello. Oh, this one's green. Should I try this one? Hold on. Uh, no. <laughs> That's not gonna work. I should have figured this out beforehand, but no, oh, I have the time now since it's still it's still gonna take like five minutes to download the update. Not really that many good choices, unfortunately. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna try this one. I think. Not what I planned, but whatever. Paimon! <laughs> From Genshin Impact. Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, she's a girl, but... Eh, I don't know. Something different. Something kind of cute, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'm just trying things out. Uh, since I'm just starting out, I don't really have to be consistent, but I know it's a good idea to be. But again, I'm just, I'm bored of the Kirby avatar. It's not really working out for me. So, anyway, what, what else? Right, uh, I had some, some thoughts on the game this far, this far, and some theories I wanted to talk about. Uh, first of all, the whole situation of Hollis. I thought about it, um, and sort of it doesn't really make much sense that they were teaching, uh, they were teaching the class about this way of, uh, connecting ideas, thoughts, uh, feelings, uh, and yet they later on, after Raz makes the mistake of doing that, say that he really shouldn't have done that, that Psychonauts don't do that, they don't change people. And that's a good message, but my problem with that is um why teach them how to do that in the first place then i suppose you really think about it she had no idea that raz would be able to anyone would be able to use those connections to move around uh they i because um you know i, I mean i assume that based on how the interns reacted and the fact that she left them in such a situation because she, she left them in a space where they couldn't really leave the room not under normal circumstances uh with so few ideas to connect as sort of experiments uh just to experiment and yeah no way out of the room to connect any like dangerous ideas uh so I suppose that makes sense, and then the point is she would uh, later on tell the class that Psychonauts don't normally do this sort of thing. Um, oh, yeah, 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 there we go. I can change the... Yay, I can change the, the expression a bit. That's cool. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I find that to be a little plot hole-ish, maybe. Um, second thing I wanted to talk about, I'm starting to wonder if there aren't some stuff in this game, as well as the first game, that we're simply assuming that actually isn't the case. 
Um, I'm thinking specifically about Raz and his family's supposed curse by M Maligula. Because keep in mind, up to... Well, throughout the entire game, not including what like Raz's whole thing, there has never been any mm, other cases, any like proof, anything to show that this is uh, tracking. That curses are a thing that can that can occur in this world. It's mostly about mental psychic stuff. Um. Very little mumbo jumbo, uh, including um, what was it? Uh, what the the followers of Maligula are trying to do? They're trying to bring her back. I forgot what what did what did Sasha Nine call it? It was uh, I don't remember, but um, yeah, that sort of thing. He called it pseudoscience, and I have a feeling. It is in that universe, in Psychonauts universe, pseudoscience. It's the same as in real life, not a real thing. That doesn't mean I don't think Maligia will just stay dead. I have a feeling her brain, at least, has probably been kept alive. Maybe her body's dead, and they're trying to bring her back into her body, but her brain's probably still alive, just like Helmet's. Um... So, uh, yeah. My, my other thoughts on that is that the reason we see the water hand uh, try to take Raz and drown him uh, is probably one of two one of two things I can think of. One, it's all in his imagination uh, and it's just affecting his ability to swim. Or two, which I feel like is a little more likely, is that it, it is his imagination, but his imagination going wild, taking control of a specific psychic power that he's not fully aware of. Because keep in mind, Maligula. Um, we saw Maligula with water serpents, controlling water and taking it in the form of serpents, snakes. Not hands or anything. Not to say that she couldn't do that, but it's very specific. So far, there has been no imagery, no sign, no animation of her using water in any other way other than like a water cyclone, um, a tsunami from what it looked like in that image, and uh, water snakes. So... I, I think it's far more likely that the hands grabbing at uh, Raz is his subconscious, thinking that he is, his family is cursed, uh, controlling the water, taking that simple form to grab him and drown him the way he expects. I, it seems... Because it, it seems like something... The, the whole uh, curse... Thing doesn't add up. It just doesn't make sense, given what we know so far. Uh, who knows? Maybe curses are real in this universe, and I don't know. She makes an exception somehow. Maybe as long as her mind is alive, she has a psychic link to the Aquatos family, allowing her to constantly do that uh similar with how um uh how ford is able to mentally keep mental connection with raz so much that he can teleport through his ear like we saw earlier which i still find like just that was hilarious and i i don't know it, it felt like a scene from a high definition very dramatic cartoon and I loved it. It was it was great, even though there was absolutely no sign that that was at all possible. Um. Anyway, let's see. And my third and I think final theory uh, has to do with the head. Uh, what was his name? The 
it was like Truman Zanato, I think. Yeah, the Truman Zanato. Um, I'm starting to get a little suspicious of him because, first of all, he he's had this case with him this whole time, and as far as I can remember, at least their second out's two so far. No one's questioned it. No one has asked what's in the box or why he doesn't have this box or seen if they can get him to let go of the box. Uh, I don't know about in the Ramus of Ruin. I don't really remember. Well, again, I, I didn't really I didn't play through that. I didn't. Maybe I should watch a full on playthrough of that. So I would know Um, I could figure it out. But other than that, no one's. No one's asking, uh, and he's acting kind of suspicious. I mean, it kind of makes sense in the situation, but I'm starting to wonder if maybe the reason he's having Raz do all these things isn't because he trusts him, but he, because he's he needs someone to manipulate uh to do something specific that everyone else knows shouldn't be done or something it 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 feels a lot like uh spider-man uh and the mcu spider-man falling for the tricks of uh it was uh doctor is it, it's dr mysterio right it was something mysterio mr mysterio dr mysterio I don't remember. Either way, it, it's kind of like that. Even though I actually, when I watched that film, I actually thought that they might actually be making Dr. Mysterio be a good guy. Even though I knew he was originally a bad guy in the comics. But that was mostly because in, like, Captain Marvel, they, they changed the, um... The shape-shifting aliens to be the good guys in, in that. So I thought, well, they might change things up here. Why not? And I actually was kind of cool with the idea. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm really starting to wonder and I'm wondering what's in the box. Maybe Maligula's brain is in the box. Maybe. But anyway, uh, it looks like the download's finally finished and that's about everything I can think of to talk about, uh, all my theories. So let's get to it. This will be different playing as Paimon. Hey, I'm Paimon. Maybe I should make myself a little bigger. There we go. I kind of wish that, like, the... I've seen that some people are actually watching my, my streams after, uh... They occur, the, um, the what's it's, the recording of it, I guess, but, uh, I kind of wish, like, YouTube, uh, you guys could leave comments on videos, so that way I could ask questions, and then check in later, see if anyone made a comment or something. Um, I don't know, if anyone's here, they, uh, you can go ahead and gladly make comments, ask me questions. I'd be glad to answer, glad to talk. As of uh, last time, we completed uh, Helmet Full Bear's world, mental world, uh, helped him out. Learned a bit more about him and his past, as well as, um, ow. As well as Ford Crawler's past a little bit, especially his love connection with Maligula, uh, or, well, Lucy. Um, and, uh,. Hold on, I wanna, I wanna make sure. Oh. Hold up. How's it going? I've noticed that the stream, at least like last time, was a bit fuzzy. Don't really know how to fix that. Uh, I'd, I'd rather it be nice and high quality, 4K, but I haven't gotten it to work with my current um, Twitch setup thing, as you saw. Oh right, I have this uh this thing. I can use here. Nice. Nothing else. Uh but yeah, unfortunately that's why I need to uh have it at nineteen 
120, 1080, because, um, there we go, because that's the only definition that that uh, Twitch setup can handle right now. All right, I get up here. There we go. Nice. Ah, I got some collectibles here. I didn't notice. The side challenge markers are like a hobby of mine. Oh, I, I got a lot of stuff, a lot of points, but uh, do I have anything to be able to upgrade? Oops. I don't know. What? Oh, here we go. Uh, oh right, I. Just got the time bubble. Decrease cooldowns between. Yeah. I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I think I'm basically the lord of all time, space, and dimension now. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I don't mean. Yeah. Iman doesn't have many facial expressions either when I make them. Uh, she has the buttons though. Oh, it it doesn't react. Oh, of course, it doesn't react when I'm in game because it thinks I'm in keyboard. A way to fix that so I can change it while playing a game. I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, I wanted this. This is that would definitely be useful. Getting the new areas. Uh, okay, I mean, I guess, yeah, that'd be great. It doesn't seem to be much of a cooldown, but oh, obviously they're stuck in place. They're plucked faster. That could be useful, but no, that could be useful, especially with like bad ideas and when their bombs get stuck in the. Yeah, that that yeah. All right. So let's see. How does this work? How do I... It was a X, which is this button. Ah, yes! Nice! Uh. Um... Oh, hey! Hey, Adam! How's it going, fam? Anyone giving you trouble? Nah! Okay, okay, tough guy. Good to know. Hello. Looking good, kid. Come here. Oh, hello. Okay. I am wondering if uh, we'll be seeing much of the, um, the other interns after this. I kind of hope so, like they take part and some of the later stuff. Hi, I'm Raz. Hey, I'm Larry. Please excuse my lack of modern. <laughs> I'm sick today, so I left it at home. <laughs> okay, so that is that is that why there are some of these go going around? Like uh, they just want to leave their body at home, but they have to work. Uh, they have to come in the work. Hey, Larry. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. You look like a friend of mine. <laughs> The, like, the frontal lobe bits. <laughs> the name is Pam. It rhymes with scram. Right, sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Raz. Oh, hello, I'm Pam. Pam the Brain. They call me that because I'm smart, not because of the no body thing. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I, I kind of... It would be kind of cool if uh, they made it made it so that you could actually just roll around as a brain in the Another caviar ball. tin in the air vent? What? Caviar in the air vent? Huh. Hey, Pam. What? Kid? I'm Larry. I don't look anything like Pam. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh... Sometimes it's the simplest things that really uh, are really funny. Time bubble bins. Time bubble? Whoa, hello. What's... Ah, filters. 
obscure. Okay. Um. Honestly, I barely ever need like dream fluffs or side pops. I'm wondering, is there like um, is there a difficulty setting? I don't remember if I set this to like, if, if when beginning the the game there was uh, a thing where I had to choose what difficulty to have it on. I don't remember. Um, I'd have to look back on my streams. Ugh. How much money do I have? 487. That should do something. Mental energy. As in health, I'm guessing? That would be really useful. Uh... Tax the mind. Oh! Though this! Oh no, I need to be level 40 though. Uh, that that would like earn me money very quickly, I would think. But uh, I'll take that's that would definitely add to the difficulty. Okay. Dropped items. Mm, that would be good. I can spend like 400. I can get two 200 ones. Oh! Oh, there's some more. Inflates your time bubble to slow a much bigger area. And it's a picture of Raz blowing up a time bubble. Like gum. Ah, uh, that's cool. Uh, speeds up objects and enemies rather than... Rather than slowing them down. What's the use of that? Other than making it more difficult. Like, what? What? <laughs> uh, squeezes some more time out of your time bubbles. Okay, either way, these... I'm too low a level for those. Ooh, like a ground chunk, huh? Okay, well, let's see. Uh, this one. Buy and equip. That works. I mean, uh, tell me how you like it. And this one. This one. Be careful how you use that one, Sonny. Why? That should be fine, right? Should be. Come back anytime. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Welcome back. Good uh, to see you again. Okay, I, I just need. No, no, I need. Yeah, one of these. Let's combine that Psychor with your card so you can rank up. Alright. Thanks for visiting the Automatic. Okay. Uh, so, I think next I will go to um, uh, Dogen's relative. Help him out. Hey, uh, yeah. I'm sure you're a powerful psychic, but wouldn't you like to be a little? But till then, I would like to see. Oh, you look just like my nephew. <laughs> Wait, how'd I get? Could you get in here? Oh. Hey. Excuse me, Ford. Sorry, with a client right now. Obviously. All right. Uh, but yeah, bef before I do, I wanna. I, I originally wanted to go see how the other interns are doing, but I guess I'll talk with Ford for now. Would you mind if I jumped into your mind for a second? Just to even out some split ends. If it'll keep you quiet, then go right ahead. What? Wait! Okay. I thought I'd have to go into someone else's mind before going to this one, but that was easy. I guess I didn't need to get a haircut appointment. Huh. All right. Mm. Oh. Okay, what's this gonna reveal? Oh, hello. 
His head's a lighthouse now. Someone's looking a little shaggy. Hey, there's well, a guy. A fresh cut and you'll feel like a whole new person. I have a Just hat Just make sure on. you cut away the right parts or your old friends will recognize you. I'm here to recover a piece of Ford's mind. And something tells me it's up in that lighthouse. Yeah. Like last time. With the mail bot. I'm just wondering how uh, haircuts are going to have to deal with uh, his past. Because the mail room, that had to do with, uh, with a bit of mail. A love letter he sent to Lucy... Or tried to, and that didn't make it to her in time. Or something like that. Can I shoot that? Um. Ah! Ah! Oh, close. Got the buttons mixed up. Ooh, a piece of bacon. Oh, that was the only piece of wisdom, alright. Yep. Give me that. Oh, I meant to aim it at you. Ah, whatever. Oh. Get him here! Oh, that was close. Uh, is that supposed to be you? Maybe, maybe that's Ford in his really early days? Maybe he was a model or something? Oh dear! Uh, are those rats? What are these? They're like... Ooh, cockroaches or something? Ooh, yeah. Oh no. Yep. Oof. Uh. That doesn't help. New looks for your locks. The very new weapon, friendly floods. Okay. Yeah, I bet. Hmm. Uh, maybe burn. What are they made of? Asbestos? What? You want this? this is frustrating. Sorry, what were you saying? Oh no. Immediately. Hmm. Oh, there's something to shoot at, maybe. Yeah, get lost, lights. You're ah! those things, but they always seem to come back. Yeah, lice. Ugh, I hate lice. Uh, they're difficult to manage. No, why you pop? I still don't understand why the the thing pops uh, every now and again. Oh, see. Is it because I'm going back or something? I'm trying to get. Oh dear. I'm trying to get the fix. Trying to get the figment.
Why? 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 Why are you doing this? What am I supposed to do? That, I guess. Okay. Well, excuse me, little, uh... Lice things. Ew. Oh, the whole place is made of hair. Ugh, more of these things. Hey. Oh! <laughs> Die, you annoying pests! <laughs> oh my, well, uh, accidents happen. Uh, yeah, that was no accident, that was brilliant problem solved. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, I, I like how... I, I like some of the quips here, and, and how, um... Uh, what's the word? How something Raz is. He's like, whippy. No, that's the word. La cru noa hair dry, but a new and darker you. Yeah, I have a feeling this also has some sort of connection with Lucy, with Maligula. Maybe this is how they met. No, that's not. This isn't how they met because uh, they met when uh, when Otto introduced them, right? Assuming that's the case. Maybe it's one of those situations where, sure, he introduced them, but they met beforehand or something. And like it was a coincidence. That's eh, possible. Oh, here I have it. Right. Whoa! What did the hair do? Hey! Okay, you're a fast one, aren't you? Come on, Brand. I remember, like, back when I was really young, just starting to play this game, uh, I was terrified of these things. I was terrified of a lot of things in video games as a kid. I was too scared of, like, SpongeBob SquarePants fight for, uh, well, battle for Bikini Bottom. So scared that I couldn't get past like the first level of jellyfish fields. I'd ask a friend for help, uh, just just to get to the next level. Here's the steamer trunk tag. Yeah, I was not nearly as uh, as talented in gaming. Well, I'm not trying to say talented, but I'm uh, somewhat skilled, I guess. Wasn't nearly as skilled or courageous as I am now. In video games, at least. Oh, there's half a brain. Ah! Am I... Oh, okay, that's fine. Come here, you little... Come on. Alright, let's take a look. Psychonaut summoned. Uh, Paranormal Person of the Year, Maligula. Okay. Uh, damn Destruction Drowns... Dozens in destabilized dictatorship. Oh, uh, Sar flees coup d'etat. Alright, and there's, uh, Helmet and, uh, is it Bobby or Bill? Um, I don't remember, but, I, like, he he's supposed to be Lily's uncle, right? And they're, like, a couple, I think. Can no one stop Mad Maligula? Uh, th here's also another thing. Uh, it's probably obvious, but I have a small theory about Maligula. I I think she was probably her mind was probably messed with in a similar way that we messed with Horace's mind, which is why she changed to become such a bad person. That's possible. Uh, yeah, and they were called in by like the government, told about the situation. Um. Yeah, and they had to discuss what to do. Oh, they were practically begging for their help. Okay, and <laughs> is that that's Ford? Ford goes in just parachuting in the way. 
They they all just parachuted in, I guess, huh? Cool. Or that's just another way of depicting it. War going on. Did you know there's a war going on? Don't lose the... Oh. Oh. Okay, so the male, the male thing had to do with his love for Maligula. That introduced the love bit. This is probably going to introduce the war. The fact that he had to go to war uh, against Maligula to to stop her and save her people as best he could. What was that? Oh, something shiny. Um. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> But are we gonna learn anything more from this? No. No. Alright, come on! Come on! Whoa! 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 Doubt. I doubt. Um, do I have? I don't have fire. Another one. Why are these sensors so fast? Ow. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, big guy. How are you doing? Ow. Uh, hold on. It's getting a little, uh, it's getting a little warm. I need to turn my fan on. I wanted to try having the fan off because I know it kind of produces a little bit of noise. Ah, that's nice. Ugh. I mean, so far, a part of me kind of wishes that uh, I could up the difficulty or something. Uh, but it does seem like they are slow, at least slowly, turning up the difficulty little by little by introducing more. Uh, enemies all at once, and including some more difficult ones. <laughs> so sick of these bugs. Yep, at least I know how to deal with them now. Yeah. Wait a minute, hold on. They have little signs. They're little protesting. Oh, isn't that cute? That's. <laughs> oh, that's um. Kind of sad, given the uh. Context the situation. Sorry, insects, but you're in my way. <laughs> huh? What have you done? Uh, cleaned up the streets. Those yeah. are peaceful protesters, Lucy. Lucy. Oh. I'm the best. Oh no. <laughs> I'm the bad guy. No! Oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> oh, I mean, I mean, it didn't help that I was toppling over a statue of Maligula. I thought maybe they were like I don't know, protesters for Maligula or something. And that I was doing what Ford was doing, but no. Oh, that's, um... That's upsetting. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Okay. A little health. Hey, shoot case! How you doing? 
Use your tag back. I wonder where that, uh, I, the idea of these, um, suitcase baggage things, where that originally came from. I'm at the, oh, I'm already at the lighthouse. And it sounds like, uh, sounds like someone's having a fun time. Not sure if that's being picked up on the mic. Oh! Oh! That's it. Oh! I didn't even really see it before. But this is like depicting a moment in time uh, where a village is being destroyed by a huge tsunami of hair. That is interesting. Oh, itchy. Okay. Ah, money. All right. Oh, that's just pipes. Lucy, is that really you? Uh, no. Ford, it's me, Raz. Are you really the same person I used to know? Ford, I just saw you. Remember the bacon? I can't even recognize the person you become. I feel a bad storm gathering. Drawn close. Very close. Uh, hey guys, that's a little bit too close, okay? Uh, okay. <laughs> that, oh, ooh, oh, this is changing perspective. Oh, that kind of sounded like the, like it was breaking the fourth wall a little bit. That was, that was a little weird. Oh, one more thing there. Bum, ba, bum, bum. More from it there. There's so many ladders, like, well... Wait a minute. You're not Lucy. Yeah, I'm not. It's such a relief to hear you say that. Uh, There's something from deep inside her. Something dangerous we accidentally unlocked. Oh. <sighs> so, was I actually right? Is that another theory I got right? Maybe. Oh, this scene again. Oh, this is gross. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh. How am I doing on... Oh, that is... I don't want to use the thought tuner while I'm inside a mine. I'm surrounded by so many stray thoughts. It might explode. Or, you know, make a really loud sound. <laughs> I mean, you're probably right. Let's <laughs> let's get out of this nightmare scene. Hey, you lousy little mic. How'd you get in here? Yeah, don't, don't... push me. I'll gargle a whole bottle of hydrocide if I need to. <laughs> don't, please don't. You'll be killing yourself. We don't want that. I'm just trying to help. Oh. Lucretia went to Grulovia. She went back to protect her family, to help her country. Oh, but it changed her. War changes everybody. Inside all of us, we all have dark roots. Well, sometimes we need that darkness to survive. Careful. Sometimes it's hard to get it back in the bottle. Is there really just one more piece to that glass? It looks like there might be two. Okay, so maybe they, maybe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe, maybe she just changed because of the war, like he said. Because war does change people. They go through the war anyway. Oh, so be able to witness it too. Oh, sorry, Ford. I dozed off there for a sec. Ford? Huh. I guess he finished up. Well, if you see Ford tell him he did a great job, I feel like a completely different person. Uh, Only one more piece sure. of Ford's mind to reconnect. I'm making progress. But what if Maligula shows up here? 
and forts. Yeah, that would be a problem, but I kind of... I get the feeling that actually summoning Ford might be the catalyst to summon Maligula. Ba 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 Almost had it. I just need to focus a little longer. No 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 I'm a monster. I eat rats. I eat rats. Come back here, little guy. Nom 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 <laughs> uh, that's fun. All right. Well, wasn't uh, wasn't expecting to be able to get in there. Huh. Okay. So when do we end up in uh, that the librarian's mind then? I thought her mind was the one that would end up allowing us to get into the haircut place to get him, but I guess not. When. Also, another thing I thought about, Psychic 6, but there's actually seven of them. Maybe they're based off the seven deadly sins. Maybe. Uh, a little hard to depict so far, but I'm assuming Maligula might be Wrath. Mm, I don't know what Ford would be. Ow, that's a thing. I don't know what any of them, any of the others would be. Mainly because I only know, so let's see, I only know of Lucy a little bit. We only know of Ford. We only, we've met Helmet. And we've met Otto. But we don't know that much about them. The rest of them we haven't met yet. Hmm. So, I don't know. But that's something to think about. Uh, so, now, right, I wanted to check in on the other interns. Oh, hey, it's Bacon Man. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, you still see me as the same guy. Same little kid, just dirty kid eating like chocolate or, or something. I don't know, I have a dirty mouth. How's uh how's your possible love interest, huh? There are layoffs? Maybe I'll get a sweet severance package. Yeah, maybe. Uh, good luck to you. Alright, um running up the room to store your titanium. Maybe someone's up here in the classroom. Hey! Oh hey! Hi. Hey Judy! It's you! Uh, I can just see what yeah, hey! How you doing? How's the how's the romance with the, the bacon guy? Okay, good, nice talking to you. <laughs> Ow, I think I threw my back out bowling. Oh, well, I hope you heal up. Ah, some more money. <laughs> no one in here. Hello? Nope, nobody. All Get right. That titanium safe in a side pouch, and if you've already got one, ah, I still can't make it up one. there. You'll send me for it. Sorry. Uh, maybe someone in here. Can I get in here? I think they should give the guy a real office. He hasn't tried to take over the world in days. <laughs> well. I think it should take a little longer before they uh, just end up giving another office. Hey, Mia. How do you see me? Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm a hip kid. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. I didn't realize I could use that power on it on everyone. I thought it was just on the people with the you might th detect a thing around them. Burning odor. Nothing to worry about. How about you? <laughs> like a little him. <laughs> I really <laughs> thought that would work. Uh, that makes you feel uh, that's, that's funny. You Almost Can I? I oh, just yeah. Need to focus How do you see me? As a tooth. Hmm. I, I should have known. Okay, see you guys later. Oh, how does Coach Oleander see me? I want to see what he thinks. Where is he? I didn't see him in the kitchen. That's where he was earlier. Um. I 
I think this is the last place I didn't check. Uh, I mean, I can't get in there without going through him, so... Maybe they're oh, outside. So glad I don't have kids. Yeah. Scanning access granted. <sighs> Away from prying eyes. Um this is the lobby? Uh, nobody comes down here. There's some weird kid right over there. So what? He's not gonna tell your husband anything. What? Come on, Sherry. You can't let that kid get to you. Chet, it's over. We've been discovered. But Sherry, we promised each other that this year we'd throw <laughs> your husband a surprise party. You're right. And he deserves it. Yes, he does. Especially considering how understanding he was about our affair. <laughs> oh, okay, that they they gave you uh, a cue ball, making you think, oh, oh, they're having an affair. What? What's going on? Huh? 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 I'm listening. I'm listening. Uh, but and and then they like <laughs> they just throw you another cue ball, saying, oh, we were just. You know, planning to throw a surprise party for your husband. And yeah, yeah, he definitely deserves it after understanding our affair. It's like, what? What? <laughs> oh, this game. Sorry, am I interrupting a secret meeting? <laughs> Were you eavesdropping? Oh, I knew this was a bad idea. Get lost, kid. How do you see me? Oh, same. You both see me as a as a little eavesdropper, which I am. I'm listening. I'm listening to everything you say. Okay, I'll leave you two alone. Oh. Uh, hello. I hope my family didn't cause too much trouble. You're lucky my family never comes to visit me. Ever. Aw, that's kind of sad. How do you see me? Oh! <laughs> you see me as like a ticket or something. What is that? A ticket stub or something? <laughs> Okay, let's go out. All right. Uh, how? Bum 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 bum. Don't don't. You don't have to mind me. Mind my own business. Music from the woods. That's interesting. What is that? Well, I think, uh, like I said, I'm gonna go over there for the cooking show. I think yep. mm, from the trailer. I really, sh I really shouldn't have, but I, I, I got too excited. I wanted to, I wanted to know more about this game. And it just made me more and more hype, and actually got me to want to want to try streaming it. So, uh, <laughs> led to something at least, I guess. Wee! No, as no go back there. Well, I won't go back there now. I'm going into someone else's mind right now. Oh, Hi. hello. Hey, over here. What's your name? Hey, welcome. Can you hear me? <laughs> You're just gonna. I said, what's your name? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me guess. <laughs> Cody? No. <laughs> Max? Hector, Finn, Angus, Bart. You don't get out much, do you? Seth, <laughs> Sergio, Pete. <laughs> How long does this go? Mike, 
Rufus. Oh, well, got Waldo. close. Oh, uh, too far. Milo. No. Eagle. Eagle. Rock. Tranquility. Well, who's called Tranquility? Justice. Really? <laughs> Cletus. Saul. What? <laughs> Tootie. Fester. <laughs> okay, this has gone on long enough. Robes Pierre. Um, watch it. How, how do you see me? D'Artagnan. Hello, my name. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, that's my name. He's. <laughs> She's trying to figure out what my oh, name is. I'll just call you Hootie, like an owl, because you're so quiet and mysterious. <laughs> you're all right, Hootie. <laughs> yes. Something about you I like, Hoots. Mind if I call you Hoots? Uh oh. Hello. Finally. I thought you'd never say hi. <laughs> I tell you, I have been waiting for someone to come visit for a long time. <laughs> I can tell. I was starting to think I was invisible. You ever get that feeling? Well, there was this one girl who looked kind of like a blue scarecrow. <laughs> but she scared me. <laughs> but you seem nice. So did I guess your name right? It's Raz. Oh, that was the very next name I was going to say, I swear. Uh-huh. So, how long are you committing yourself for? <laughs> Uh <laughs> Okay. Committing myself to what? Psycho isolation, silly. We don't commit people anymore without their consent. Unless they're a danger to themselves or others. How many people you got in there? Oh, Excellent. just Agent Bool right now. He likes it in there. Keeps him from feeling overwhelmed by all the you know what in the woods. The what? Oh, he Oh Squirrels, maybe? I mean, Dogen had a similar issue. So. Squirrels? Voices. He can't shut them out. Mm. Can you believe he even finds me overwhelming? <laughs> so, anyway, I've got a nice room ready for you if you'd like it. Actually, I'm just here to visit Agent Bool. Oh. Well, okay. Just be careful. Don't ask him too many things at once. Or he'll curl up into a little ball and something might explode. Hi! Ugh, scary. Okay, uh, do you still see me as question mark? Yeah, I told you my name! It's Raz! Raz! <laughs> That's almost nightmare fuel. A hello name tag just coming up jumping at you. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, there he is. Wait, where's... He says there's another room that I could go to. Where, where's any other rooms? It seems like the only one. Okay. Hmm. I see what you're doing there. Ah, right, cool. Hmm. He's playing chess with a mouse. Oh, you think you're clever, don't you? Looks like there's a senior league membership card stuck in this frame. Hey, don't even look at that. It's private. Agent Bull? Huh? Oh, were were you in? Uh, it was like Copia or something. Were were you two in love? Like, is is that is that Dogen's mom or something? I didn't. I don't think. I didn't really make that connection because they don't look anything alike. But. Uh. Uh, Hi, I'm Rasputin. I'm a friend of your grandson. Oh, oh grandson. He wow. hasn't hurt anybody else, has he? No humans that I know of. <laughs> Good. Good. Uh. Do you need help getting out of there? No, I put myself in here. Mm. Why did you put yourself in there? Well, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. And yeah. when I get overwhelmed... Accidents happen. Mm. Yeah, well, uh, if if you're, 
Dogen's grandson, granddad, grandfather. Uh, you probably have that in common. I see Lizzie introduced you to Harold. Oh no, Harry Kasparov here showed up on his own. Uh. So why is Lizzie still out there looking for animals? Oh, well, I mostly sent her away well, just because there was too many voices in here. Hint, hint. Ah, uh, you're trying to tell me to leave too, huh? Agent Bull, I need your help. Oh, no. W with what? Uh, it's just... Uh... Well, should I ask... No, he's... He's very anxious. I should ask something very, very easy for him, I think. Something that he won't be too anxious about. Let's leave the mole thing for now. I need a Senior League membership card. What? Well, well don't look at mine. Please, Agent Bull. It's important. That bowling card is a precious memento of a dear friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she die? No, no, she's somewhere. Out in the forest. Oh. What? Well, let's go find her. Well, I've tried for years, but I just can't anymore. Okay, maybe maybe you guys aren't lovers, but uh, you're friends. Okay. Please let me borrow your Senior League membership card. No! Now buzz off! Mm, Buzz off! Hey, hang on a second. Exactly what I was thinking, Harold. The bees could help. Cassie and I always loved working with bees in the forest. If you could bring me just one bee, I'll bet I could talk to it and find out where my Cassie is. No kidding? Here, take this and hurry. Okay. One B coming up. Well, he did say my Cassie. Hold on, I wanted to ask if you could Agent help with Bull? the mole, too. Huh? I just didn't want to ask first because I felt like, you know, he would have a mental breakdown. Agent Bull, I need your help. Oh, no. W with what? I need help catching the mole and the Psychonauts. Sorry, don't do moles. They're little snuts. Give me the heebie <laughs> Not those kind of moles. No, I mean there's a counter-spy in the organization. Oh, well, I'm retired from spy work. A danger to myself and to others, they say. Who would say that? Me. <laughs> I need help fighting Maligula. Ah, you need to warn a gentleman before slapping him in the face with a name like that. Yeah. She's long gone, but the scars are still painful. Um... Someone's trying to bring Maligula back. Ah! Well, I, I suppose I had enough warning that time. Listen. Huh? Maligula is dead and gone. Even if she were to return, I was no help fighting her the first time. <coughs> I'll be sitting out any future Maligula battles for everyone's protection. For everyone's protection. Never mind. I don't need any help. If you say so, bring that bee with you next time, hey? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm off to the forgetful forest to find a bee for Agent Bull. This is a serious mission, no matter how adorable it sounds. <laughs> no matter how adorable? Catching a bee? Have you seen bees? Uh, they're they're Hi. not as cute as you might think. Oh, hey. Uh, Scanning for thinkerprint. See you later. Access granted. <sighs> Tasty. Uh Ow! oh. Oops. Sorry, little brother. I thought you were a rabid squirrel. <laughs> Knock it off, crazy. <laughs> Did you just go in the water? Where'd you go? You should have the same supposed curse as I do. Unless I was right about there not really being a curse. Let's see.
You go this way? Somewhere? Is this the way to the forgetful forest? Oh yeah, and that's just a faster way back there, I think. Careful, it gets pretty advanced up here. Not for little kids. <laughs> yeah, you went this way. How do you see me, rabbit? Ah! <laughs> come back here. <laughs> Ooh, hidden secret. Yay! <laughs> Uh, I think it's kind of fun messing around in this game a little bit. Oh, uh. Ah, I had a feeling that was there for a reason. Crazy? You up here? I'm telling mom you threw a rock at me. It was a pine cone, you baby. Ow! That was a rock. <laughs> I'm warning you. <laughs> All right, come out here, Frazy. Oh, where am I going? All right, so there's multiple levels in the uh, open world here too. Okay, like hub world. Whoa, whoa, lagging a bit. Hmm. Something down there? No. Oh, the questionable area. Our area. The Aquato Family Circus has traveled through here, all right. Yep, we had to hightail it out into the woods because you're ashamed of being an Aquato. I'll stop being ashamed of that. If you stop being ashamed of being a psychic. <laughs> oh, you're asking for it, Raspy. The Raspy. Crazy, it's okay. You can tell Dad now. You don't have to hide anymore. <gasps> this is your last warning. Frazy? <sighs> How old is she? Ow. Oh. More where that came from. Okay. This reminds me a lot of Gravity Falls. We must be in like a similar area of uh, America the or something. The forgetful forest is somewhere here in the questionable area. Oh, so I am going in the right place. Where the only answer is more questions. Ah. That's pretty similar to Gravity Falls. <laughs> like a stack of pancakes looking building. Can I go in? Hello! <laughs> what, Sam? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, this guy, this, this oh, place is a mess. Oh, Lancelot, thank you. Are those the acorns I asked for? Yes? No. No, they can't be, can they? No, because I asked for acorns that were crushed, didn't I? Didn't I, Fur Lancelot? I hate to yell at you, Fur Lancelot, but oh. I, I, I am the crushed one. It crushes my heart to see you not doing your best. Understand? Now, do I need to show you how to crush things? No. Are you sure? Okay, good boy. Now, try again, but this time think about personal commitment and delivering excellence every day, all right? Sorry you had to see that, Raz. <laughs> His reaction is exactly the same as mine! <laughs> oh! <laughs> 
I wasn't expecting that. Face tracking! Paimon! Track me! No! Paimon! Good. Oh, <laughs> uh, so really, Sam, you, um, terrify me now. Uh, hi. Hey, Sam. Talk fast. Cakes are cooking. I have some questions about pancakes. <laughs> Start flapping, Jack. <laughs> Why didn't you just go order some pancakes at the cafeteria? Agent Oleander didn't give me any money. I assumed to test my resourcefulness. Yeah, maybe. Did you just, oh no. Did you like order a bird to give you her e eggs and just use her eggs? Oh, you are cruel. What's your recipe? Just the basics, you know, eggs, milk, flour. Found most of it here with a couple quick substitutions. Um, what kind of substitutions? What sort of substitutions? If I told you, it would compromise the perceived flavor profile. Isn't that just straight up dirt? Look for the umami. What? <laughs> Is there umami in pancakes? Uh, either way, ew. Uh, Weren't all the supplies here kind of old? How would you know? take the expiration dates too seriously. They're just the food industry protecting itself from lawsuits. And protecting us from, like, food poisoning? <laughs> no one's getting sick from my pancakes. Unless one of you jerks didn't wash their hands. Eh, better late than never. <laughs> I'm actually pretty, um, pretty strict with, uh, uh, sell-by dates myself. If, if something is too far sell uh, by the sell-by dates, past the sell-by date, I won't use it. No way. Oh. Where'd you get the milk? <laughs> From the goats? Oh, yeah, that would have been easier. Huh? <laughs> Hey, you brought us closer, Fran. Oh, he's terrified! <laughs> oh, uh, oh, track and... Paimon! Track! My face! And then... What's going on? Why aren't you tracking? There we go. <laughs> oh, I love... I love how Rez asked that in such horror. Like, where'd you get the milk? From the goats? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the delivery was perfect. Oh, uh, though, don't goats, can't you get milk from goats? Oh, I think so. I mean, it's not probably not the same as milk from cows, but still. You used eggs you found here? Old eggs? No. Gross. I found some fresh ones. Yeah. No. If you use enough syrup, you can't tell chicken from snake. Eggs is eggs. Yeah, oh, that was where any burnt. Wait. But. How big are snake eggs? Don't snakes eat eggs too? And that was, those eggs were in like a bird's nest. Oh, uh, whatever. Can I have a pancake? You can have any that fall on the floor. Thanks. What? You said, you said that like you generally wanted some. Rez, you don't want any of the pancakes she's cooking. It's none, none of it's safe, probably. Where'd you learn how to make pancakes? Prison. <laughs> Wait, what did I say? I meant from my mother. <laughs> I'm out of pancake questions. <laughs> Good, because I'm out of pancake puns. <laughs> the look on Raz's face. Oh man, this is awesome. What are you doing out here? Well, you know my intern mentor, Coach Morso Oleander? Morso? Uh, yeah. Well, this is the first assignment he gave me. 
Mission. Get me some pancakes so I can think. Oh, he's going to regret that. Teach me something about the many layers of the mind. Maybe. I know the butter stands for lateral thinking. I got that much. Uh, no. I think he really was just get, trying to get you to get some nice pancakes. Oh, he's going to regret this later. <laughs> Can I ask you about your family? Why? Because my last name is Ghoul? And because that's a famous family in the Psy community? Mm. And you want to network with me to further your Psy career? Go for it. Oh, she's perceptive. Tracking. I'm right here. Ugh. I'm a friend of your brother's. Hmm. Your head looks remarkably unexploded. <laughs> Must be the helmet. <laughs> Has your brother Dogen really made someone's head explode? No, never. Wait, you mean someone who didn't deserve it? No. I mean, like, anybody. Look, nobody's perfect. <laughs> Am I right? Uh. Yeah, that brings up a lot of questions. Can everyone in the pool family talk to animals? Most of us can talk to them, but few of us really know how to listen to the animals. You know, for instance, I can hear you rolling your eyes, Mrs. Thatcher. <laughs> oh, you're crazy. Oh, I love this. This is awesome. What can you tell me about Compton? Mm, Gramps is nice and all, but... Honestly, he's a little weird. No, still too tough. Okay, I'll stop asking about your family. The bull's got nothing to hide, unlike some of these squirrels. <laughs> Max, I'm talking about your nuts. You guys still hide nuts, right? Learn to laugh a little, okay? You'll live longer. <laughs> so, have you always wanted to be a psychonaut too? <sighs> Not really. My true dream is to be a pet therapist. Because really? I'm really good with animals. No, you're not. Right, guys? <laughs> I mean, you clearly have an effect on them. But still, you are not a pet therapist. about Maligula? Raz, Maligula's ancient history. My grandpa killed her by triggering an elephant stampede. Uh... What? I never heard about huh. You believe the official story, do you? I gotta go. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is funny every time. <laughs> oh, man. What was man. I doing out here again? Oh, right. Compton needs a bee from the forgetful forest. Oh. Uh, hmm. There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. Oh, uh, I, I hope I get to talk with some of the uh, some of the other Hi. interns. And uh, and I I hope their interactions are also funny. Oh. Card. Actually, you know what? I kind of hope we get to talk more with uh, with Sam a yep. bit. Uh, get some more dialogue like that. That was too funny. <laughs> Ugh. Is there any reason to be up here? Oh. Alright. Ah! Too far! Ow. That hurt. Okay. Okay, uh... Whoa! Oof. Yep.
Ow! This looks like it's, like, set up for me to slide down that thing, then go around this way, and somehow hurl myself at high speeds over there. How am I gonna do that? Oh, hello. You weren't there. Were you there the whole time? Ah, I just answered my question. Nice. Oh dear. That's not high enough, okay. <sighs> Can I just do this? Uh, nope, I need to turn it back around. Okay, I'll I'll deal with that later. Uh, it's not worth it. Welcome to the questionable area, where the only answer is more questions. What's with all the question marks? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of the point. Guess my family has chosen where to set up the Aquato Dome. All right. Oh, this is supposed to be parking. Why are they setting this all up here in parking? Yep. Oh no! No! Any point in going up there? No, I don't think so. Yep. Oh wow, they're really taking over the place. What are you guys doing? Oh, hey! This is Morris Martinez, and you're listening to KLOB, the smarter part of the load. Oh, wait! That's one of the interns, isn't it? And it's just, it's just pirate boy radio. Creepy! There you are! Aw, oh, man! You found my private dancing place. Sorry. Too late. You ruined it. Uh, Mom's looking for you. Wait, how do you know that? I don't know that. I haven't seen Mom in a while. Oh. Ah. A river that somehow just goes all the way up instead of down. Okay. If you want to be a spy so bad, why not start spying on your family over in the campgrounds? That's what I'm here doing. I'm a rabid, rabid. Psycho, not. Hello. What are you? Oh, you're a squirrel. Is there anything around here you see? Ah, thank you. Now you shall pay with your blood. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can go in there. Oh. Oh, and I hear more music. There's a... Uh, Queebsy, right? I see you up there. I can probably burn this, I'm assuming. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, let's see what you see. Yeah, me. 
Okay. Let's go up here then. Uh, can I? Okay, no, I guess not. that shadow coming from uh, up there hmm. I want to believe in Sasclops but you're not making it easy guys Sasclops self portrait petrified droppings journal oh come on really I can't get up high enough is there another way somehow? Let's see. Can't leave this card lying around. What's this? Can I e examine it? Please. Nessie would totally win because Nessie is real. This. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, we don't know. Sasclops versus Nessie. Uh, claws, uh, opposable thumbs, possible psychic powers. Single eye gives focus. Larger swims, bigger teeth, more established fan, more established fan base. Can I burn these? Yeah. That's for inciting violence between cryptids. <laughs> hey, what's back here? Come here. Hello, side challenge marker. Yep. Okay, oh. that probably means I can <laughs> probably burn the one over there too. Oh, that was close. Oh, or not. I could at least start a fire here. Of course, I didn't think of that. Oh, hello. The expiration date on this thing is the year I was born. Oh, oh ew. Still, how is that being projected? Where is that being projected from? I'm not seeing how this is possible. Yep. It has to be coming from over here, maybe? Somehow? I don't know. I'm not seeing it. See you next time. I'm starting to see why this questionable area went out of business. Yeah. What are you listening to? Some local radio station. I have no idea where it's coming from, but I love it. Oh, can I listen to it with you? No. No. I wonder how young he is. Like, how old are these guys? I know Raz is like 10, even though he doesn't sound 10 years old to me. Well, I mean, his voice maybe, but I mean, like, his... he seems more mature. Um... But I don't know. I just, I just, I'm really wondering how old everyone else is. Thinking about it, how old is Sam? I don't know. Or Dogen? Any of them, really.
Oh, yeah. Whoa, I'm already at 821. Nice. Watch it. I meant to get on the tightrope. Oh, did I miss something up? Oh, dang it. I'll have to go all the back. get over there um... well that looked weird okay maybe not hmm Oh, hey, there's the house. I forgive you. Uh, Mom? I mean, if little children never ran away from home, where would the circus get her workers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what matters is that the Aquatos are all together again. And this little adventure of yours has actually given me fresh inspiration for our act. Uh, me too. I'm not really returning. Did you see that unnatural and slightly gimmicky waterfall over there? Yeah. The one flowing upside down? Stay away from it. No water. Too late, Nona. It has already watered the flower of inspiration in my heart and blossomed in two. Guess what I called it. Guess. The upside down waterfall? The devil's fire hose! Let's show our runaway how we do it, everybody. Creepy on the bottom. Oh. How is this gonna work? Uh, is he capable of holding that much weight? This would be easier if you didn't use so much hair grease. It'd be easier if your head weren't so pointy. <laughs> <laughs> now, Rasputin, up top you go. Yes, son. And then you could add a little psychic flourish by levitating this pine cone. No, no. Then we pass each person up the tower like water flowing. No psychic flourishes. I told you. We are acrobats. We don't do parlor tricks. Uh, guys? Why not a little of both? Pops? Oh, thirteen. Uh. You guys? Oh, shush. This is why we taught you how to fall as babies. <sighs> it's no uh... use. We need the aquatodome. <laughs> I'm on it. Help him out, would you, Pooty? He's had to take on so much extra work since you abandoned your family and broke our hearts. That's a good boy. Uh... If yeah. there's one thing the Aquatos know how to do, it's making themselves at home. Anywhere. Yeah, thanks for saying that, Ma. Uh, oh, boy. All right. Uh, how am I to help? Nona. I guess I could help out a little bit. Nona. Oh, hey, it's your little bunny. Oh, I didn't mean to... I, I don't want to scare you. Hold on. <laughs> oh, no, no. Don't be afraid. I know it looks scary to you, but I'm not... Pre I'm not a... I'm not a predator! Come back! I want to pet you! Come back! Nice, bunny! Hi, bunny! No, bunny! Bunny, come back! Good bunny! Bunny! Bunny, come back! Bunny! <laughs> bunny! Is the wheel for this, but come back! The airplane rides. Come here! Oh, no! Bunny! <laughs> 
Oh, hi, Rave. Ah! <laughs> hi. Hi there, sweetie. Hi. Listening to me. Oh. You got excited from when I was yelling, huh? Hi. Oh, face tracking. Fish tracking. There we go. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make it taller somehow. Uh. Hey, Mom. Hmm. Oh, yes, Rasputin? What you doing? I'm trying to perfect the devil's fire hose, of course. It's a risky one, but I think Ow. this might be the spectacle that puts the Aquatos back on top. Back on top? Were we like a big deal before? Can I help? Yes. Tell me how to make the devil's fire hose reach even greater heights. You already know what I'm gonna say, ma. How about some sight? Finish that sentence, and it will kill your mother, Rasputin. Hey. Maybe if everyone stood on tippy toes? Everyone is already stretched to their full height. I should know. I stretch them every day. Sounds painful. What if we incorporate animals into the act? Good. Overall, children are cheaper and slightly cleaner. There's so many things wrong with this, like, mental image, really. I wonder if maybe I'll end up going into her mind or something, or someone's mind here. The one most likely would probably be hers, but that would be interesting. What if we set everyone's costumes on fire? Oh. Very exciting. But these are the only costumes we have, Rasputin. Yeah. Seems like doing the trick horizontally would be safer. Safety doesn't fill seats, Rasputin. Yeah, that would be kind of boring. You're just laying on your sides next to each other or something. What if everyone were singing? Ugh, I'd rather die in water. Okay, there's like the first... Well, no. The grandma, apparently, uh, she mentioned water earlier, so... We're actually getting some indication uh, of the water curse here. But I still think it might be something they, his parents put into his head, uh, given the experience with, like, m maybe their ancestors, no, maybe they experienced the whole thing in Grilovia with Lucy, and maybe that's why they're trying to put that into their head, to avoid water, maybe? Blindfolds? We tried that before! Remember the big pink eye epidemic? Shut us down for a week. <laughs> Chainsaws? Who will pay for the gasoline, darling? <laughs> well, that's all the ideas I got. Sorry. Hmm. You really want to help me? Go find your brother, Queepy. He's wandered off again. Okay, here we go. This is where we hear about that. Top of what? Top of the acrobatic world, Rasputin. As the Aquatos once were. Before the curse. Oh, here we go. Before the curse. Yeah, here, here we go. We're getting some more information about this. Can I ask you about the curse? Not too loud. You know your father doesn't like to talk about it. But as you know, a cruel fortune teller cursed our family, Raz. Uh-huh. Every Aquato for all time is cursed to die in water. Track that my face! That's why we to leave our grand aquatic circus behind and start again at the bottom in this humble family troop. We may not have water anymore, but we still have the most important thing, right? We still have family. highly stretchable ligaments. Oh, yes, and family. <laughs> oh, here we go. Who who cursed us? Who Please cursed tell me. Us? Too many questions. Stay away from the water. That's all you need to know. I stopped arguing with that woman long ago. Yeah, here we go. Tracking. Tracking. Ugh, here we go. Okay, so they're being... Okay, so she doesn't know. She doesn't know about it. Only the grandmother knows. So, that leads me to believe even more that this curse doesn't even exist. It's all in their head. And it's being enforced in Raz through his imagination and his psychic powers. Possibly. Uh, you know, Agent Forsyth is a very important psychonaut. And she's really cool, actually. 
I think you'd really like each other if you hung out. The woman in the suit? Uh, we get along just fine. As long as we keep our distance. <laughs> A circus can only have one prima donna. <laughs> uh, yeah, you kind of give that impression a little bit. Sorry about running away. It's okay, Rasputin. I blame myself. Really? Why? I forgot to latch your door that night. Oh. You, you latch our door at night? From the outside? Only since Queepy started sleepwalking. Okay, I'm going to go practice my acrobatics. Uh-huh. Remember, every time you lie, it takes a day off your mother's life. Ah, man, she's really playing up the, uh... The guilt. Man. But still, I, I was about to say, that whole thing about the latch, locking the latch, that... That husband of mine. That is so... Yikes. But, she, I guess she did... Hmm. She does have a good reason, sort of, with Quippy's sleepwalking, at least. Nona, look. How does this move on its own? It's Nona, a pink Nona, Nona, Nona. car or something? Huh. Okay, watch me again. <laughs> nice trick, Tala. Is Nona looking? <laughs> yes, and she looks really impressed. <laughs> <laughs> nice okay, trick, Tala. Okay. Okay. Is Ah, uh, you're cute. Hi, Nona. Oh, hello, my sweet little turnip. Hmm. Are you comfortable? Do you need anything? I'm happy as long as I'm with my family. Okay, that's sweet. Aren't you cold out here in the woods? Ugh, please. I'm from Grulovia. This is nothing. Okay, so we are from Grulovia. What are you... You're probably gonna downplay this, aren't you? Can I ask you about the curse? Don't go near the water. Yes, I know about that part, but then you know the whole thing. Oh, you'll need the know. I didn't think about it before. Hold on. She... Her head shape... Kinda reminds me a little bit... Of... Mega... Of, of Lucy's head. Maybe... Are we somehow related to her? Is she Lucy, maybe? And she figured death? It, it's been 20 years, but I'm not sure if that would be long enough for her to age this much. Unless something mega happened. I don't know. Do you hate psychics as much as mom? You'll need fortune tellers? Like the Galactians, the ones who cursed us? They are not natural. They are not trustworthy. Hmm. Nona, who's your favorite grandchild? It's me, right? Oh, of course, you are my favorite. My sweet little Dion. Well, I gotta go back to my spy stuff. Good boy, now don't get that big head. Hmm. I remember hearing that uh, originally the main character for Psychonauts <gasps> was actually a completely different character, and... I think his name's over D. Is that the same name? Was was that? <laughs> because if it was the same name, that'd, that'd be kind of neat. <laughs> Just a little, uh, little Easter egg. <laughs> All right. Um, so, uh. Oh no! No no! Ah man! You see something, Squirrely? Squirrely! Give me your stuff. Give me what you see. Where are you, Quizby? Oh, you're probably somewhere up there, aren't you? Hmm. 
Okay, that just goes that way. Oh, other way. Oh, help! Oh, I thought that was a person. Oh, hi, Bunny. Back the other way. This is promising. Ah, there we go. Thought I'm gonna be able to get up there. Get off! Alright. Alright, so he's somewhere over, th over there, I think. I head back down. Uh... No! No! I still don't understand why that pops. Oh, this one over here. Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, Norma. Hey, I found some of those scavenger mission critical psychonaut assets. Hand them over. <laughs> Did you see that? How could I not? It caught Dad. Hi, son. Think I'm getting any better at this? Press harder on your temples. Really? I'm already getting a bit of a bruise there. Hmm. Just keep practicing. That's it. Clear your mind. If it were any emptier, I'd pass out. <laughs> Focus on the hottest thing you can think of. Okay, then. I'm thinking of your mother. Dad! We're human beings, Rasputin. <laughs> uh. You're really taking to this psychic stuff. Like, really hard. Well, I guess I'm making up for lost time. Plus, it could be a fun father and son activity for us to do together, don't you think? Uh huh. Oh, this is nice. This is growth, family growth. Dad, can I ask you about where we come from? You mean Glovia? That's a sad story, son. But there were some glory days back in the old country. The Aquatos were part of a very prestigious national circus there. We even perform for the Tsar and his family from time to time. But then that monster Maligula ruined everything. Uh, here we go. Getting more clarification here. Actually, Maligula's not ancient history. Some of her followers are trying to bring her back to life. What? The Psychonauts think one of her delusionists have infiltrated the base as a mole. Then be careful what you tell them, son. We're more connected to Maligula. Then you should say. What's that? Uh oh. Uh, maybe you shouldn't have said that, Dad. What do you mean we're connected to Maligula? She comes from the Galocchio family. The family that cursed all of our family to die in water? Mm. Son, she is the Galocchio who cursed our family to die in water. And it worked. My father. Drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster. 
But my mother, your Nona, survived. She escaped Golovia and came here to get away from the curse. Hmm. I, I still don't think this is a curse. I don't know. What do you think of the Devil's Fire Hose? Oh, it's going to be a showstopper, I can tell. Your mother never disappoints, you know. I just wish she'd let me have a little, you know, razzle dazzle. Yeah. Oh, yes, like that. Thanks for helping out back at summer camp. Well, I could tell somehow you were in trouble. Probably because of our psychic connection. So, yeah. how is Lily? <laughs> I couldn't help but notice when I was oh. inside your mind Dad. that you had some uncertainty about the status of your relationship. Oh! <laughs> Just tell her how you feel, son. Tell us all how you feel, Raz. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, this is part of what I want. Yes! I don't think Mom's on board with this psychic stuff. Oh, she'll get used to it. Like she did with my model train hobby. <sighs> Still so sad about how that elephant sat on my whole collection. Dad, <laughs> our circus doesn't have any elephants. Hmm. True. Not sure where that animal came from. <laughs> I'll have to ask your mother. She's the one who saw it happen. <laughs> 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 oh, you had a model train c collection, huh? Uh, that's cool. Uh. You know who else in the family is psychic, right? Does it rhyme with Daisy? Yes, and also with Lazy. <laughs> oh, well, oh. if that's true, then it's for her to tell us about some, not you. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> I had that coming. <laughs> I'll let you get back to practice. Yes, yes. I think I'm almost there. <laughs> hey, Norma. What are you doing out here with my dad? <laughs> Did you see oh, no, why, you... why are you hanging out with my dad, Norma? I think we have a lot to learn from our elders, Rasputin. I like this girl, Rasputin. Shouldn't you be working on your intern assignment or something? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm thinking of asking to switch mentors. I think your dad has a lot to teach me. Oh, oh, oh. please. I don't like any part of this. Uh, I don't really like the way you're looking at him. Are you, oh, tracking. Are you developing a crush or something? On my dad. <laughs> I was like a red looking at at her the way I I was questioning. Don't you want to hang out with someone else besides my dad? <laughs> oh, you are jealous, aren't you, Raz? I'm sorry, son. Am I stopping you from pitching the woo to this nice young lady? Dad, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm done talking to her. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. This is awesome. Oh, the dialogue and everything. That's the way back to the diner. Yep. Man. This part of the woods is giving me the heebie-jeebies for some reason. Ah, uh, here we go. Warning, the forgetful forest is not part of the questionable area recreation center and is not covered by our insurance policy. This sounds like the best attraction in the questionable area to me. Mm, yeah. All right, so I finally found, oh dear. Are you still scared of me? I just want to pet you. Hi. No, come back. Where am I? Come back. Oh, this looks kind of familiar. Hmm. 
crazy? I know it's you. I'm not stupid. Ah! <laughs> Crud, it's you. I thought I finally caught a critter. Why are you hunting? Aren't they feeding you? I'm interning with Compton Bull. He sent me out here to catch him some animals. Mm. I really don't know if you should be bringing animals to Agent Bull. His grandson is a friend of mine, but that family can be a little bit rough on animals. Yeah. Oh? And you've never side-blasted a squirrel, nature boy? Uh... That's what I thought. Ish. Anyway, it's no use. I'd have to go deeper into the forgetful forest for any really good animals. And there's no way I'm going in there. Why? Telekinetic bears? Oh. <gasps> Has nobody told you? About the green needle witch who haunts these woods? Her mother was a banshee. And her father was a porcupine. Let me guess. She hates children and kills them on sight. No, she loves children. She follows them through the forest. And when she catches them, she gives them a big hug. That doesn't sound so... Impaling them on her needles. Filling them with holes. Yeah, I saw that coming. Okay, if you could just let me down now. Children, beware. She's there. She's there. The green needle witch has waited. She wants a hug. Don't dare. Don't dare. Or soon you'll be perforated. And yet, I'm running in. Okay. I'm getting a strong psychic sense that Lizzie and Norma are sisters. Sibling detection is one of the less celebrated tools in the Psychonauts playbook. The kind they don't get badges for. Oh. It's so spooky. I guess that's, that's how we figured There's that out, probably huh? probably nothing interesting. This reminds me a lot of that uh, forest area in, uh, in Raz's mind world when we went in through the machine thing for an experiment with Sasha 9 which by the way was another thing I was gonna mention that was another reason why I thought maybe this curse wasn't actually real because we were seeing how Raz depicted the un undersea area uh, through base te technically uh, Coach Oleander's memories, or sort of dream world, as a place that's just scary. Uh, which basically shows that he is actually scared of water, of underwater areas. So. Looks like a great place to get those bees for Compton. Oh, what? Is that just a giant. I guess it is. It's just a giant uh, beehive. Hi, bees. Okay, I'm just gonna take one of you on a little trip to see an old friend. Don't chase me, please. Swipe. Ooh, I got three. Even better. Yeah, that might not be better. Oh, hello. Not so fast. Lizzie? Uh... Ow! Hey! Oh! Sharp! Oh. Lizzie? Oh? Oh! Do I get to play through this part or no? Yeah, you just angered a swarm of bees. Oh, this is terrifying! This again? Dang it, Pooter. I just got that thing set again. The Green Needle Witch! Where? Th that way! That way! Ugh, you poor city kid. Do yeah, yourself of course a you're favor and stay indoors where it's safe. Phew! Okay. Better get these bees back to Compton so we can find his friend. Wait, I'm not- and I'm so not even I a city kid. Senior League Pass. 
I'm not even a city kid. I'm a... Oh, uh, whatever. Semantics, I guess. Alright, let's get back to him. I think I'll just take the fast way. Let's see. There we go. Oh, hi, Terrell. Hi. I'm good. Nice talking to you. Agent Fool? I got some visitors here who are really excited to. Ah. I said one! I only needed one B! What? Shoot! Shoot! Get out of here! Yeah, and you didn't need to release them. Extra. They seem friendly. Oh no! Don't all talk at once, please! I can't take it! Oh. I can't! It's too much! Too much! Oh no! Don't explode! And don't explode me! Oh. Agent Bull? Ah! What's wrong? Too many voices. Too many everything. Want me to kill those bees? No. Like with fire, maybe. It's totally not a problem. Please, don't hurt them. Okay. Would you mind if I made a quick and very quiet, uh, wellness check inside your mind? Ah. Uh. Scream once for yes, I may enter your mind, and twice for no. Ah. Uh. Great. Out of my way, bees. All right, so this is how we get to his mind. All right. No, not yet. I'm not ready. Cassie's not here. Not ready for what? Dinner. Uh-oh. Let me guess. We're on the menu? No. Worse. Judgment. Court is in session. Ah, uh, here we go. Please remain standing. Oh. If you're able. Okay. <laughs> Give me that. Never touch a judge's gavel. Ow. Come on. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna need you, and I think we're good. Oh, come on. Whoa, that was close. Ow, I tried to grab that one. Oh, you got another one, huh? Nope. Let's take a five minute recess. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oops. Anything but this. It's time for Ram It Down. All right, here we go. This is going to be interesting. Good evening, and welcome to Ram It Down. I'm your host, <laughs> Tin Can Zanotto, and tonight. We'll watch one lucky contestant prepare three increasingly complicated dishes in an attempt to please our celebrity judges. <laughs> Impossible! 
the ball. He'll never do it. He's nothing without Cassie. <laughs> oh. And he's the nice one. <laughs> well, let's get to our first dish. A tragic delicacy from a troubled nation. A Grulovian drowned egg. Ooh. Oh. First, our contestant will have to find a very outspoken egg. Oh, me. Pick me. Boil it in hot water. I'm all fired up and ready to go. Prepare it with an unruly onion. He said my name. That's been sliced into pieces. Just call me Pork Chopper. Put them both together on a plate and see if the judges can bear two. Ram it down! Finish your dish before the clock runs out, and you'll win valuable prizes from the Mystery Box. All right. What do you say? Think you're up to the challenge? <laughs> Sounds easy. We got this. Right, partner? Oh, no. Partner? Yeah, what was I expecting? <laughs> uh, okay, out an outspoken egg, huh? First Does that mean a specific egg in the audience? They all seem the same to me. Stupid goats. Maybe the one up here. Why are you happy about this? I feel good about this. All right, while you're boiling. Well, don't just sit there resting on your boils. We've got other ingredients to prepare. Yeah, I know, I know. I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. Uh, and then I need an onion. Maybe, maybe I need the onion and the egg that was talking or something earlier. Which might be, might mean I made a poor decision earlier. Alright, how do I... Alright. Okay. Oh. Get ready to be chopped. So is that all I do? And that's a perfect chopped onion. I feel like this is the real me. Let's plate that ingredient, chef. All right, now I just need to plate it. No, no, I want to go the other way. No, oh, whatever. Oh, I saw, I saw the baggage. Boiled the egg. Maybe this chef is going to go the distance. Let's see what he does while that egg is boiling. Yeah, give me a sec. How did I get that? Yes, got the duffel bag tag. Oops. Now that's definitely a safety violation. Suitcase tag. That's what I need here. Okay. Come on. Oh no. Oh, I went too far that time. I just need to get the egg. Team. Let's see if he can get it to the plate. <laughs> He's assembled all his ingredients. If Chef would just hit that button, we can begin the presentation. Did we make it? I, I'm not sure. We'll find out, I suppose. Uh, just give me a minute. I think I hear some emotional baggage here. I think. Hi there. I know emotional baggage. I got your thing. Yay. Mm. 
Whoa! I'm coming, hat box. Here you go. Yay, happy hat box. All right, that's most of them. Uh, let's just. Get on with it. Well, here we are. At the moment of truth. Will we be looking at a drowned day? Or a drowned contestant? Reveal! What's the problem? The meal! Uh, is that right? So, what we did was, we took an egg. Boring. And we popped it into the water. Pedestrian! Uh, then, uh, then Chef had the idea to uh, withhold the salt at just the right moment to create a sense of, uh, longing within the yolk, if you will. You what? We think it really improves the nose feel of the composition. Hmm, okay. Compelling. Bone appetite. Why is it eggs in jello? Ah. Hmm, surprisingly acceptable. Okay, I'm assuming that's because I didn't get the right egg. I think I need to get specific uh, that's not all. ingredient members. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box. Which one? Oh, that one. Hey, a brain, a half brain. Well, don't just stand there resting on your laurels. That one was a gimme. Let's see how you do on your next dish. Shoo! Congratulations, you did it. How does it feel? Um, well, fantastic. Well, get ready. Okay. Because it's time for your next dish. Right after this commercial message. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Well, looks like a little fight in the commercial. Alright, bring it. Bring it. Ow. Uh. Time for justice. Oh no, you don't. My baby. At the judge. Ow! Oh, you have really good aim in there. Uh oh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Must not badger the gavel. I keep pressing at the wrong moment. Never touch a judge's gavel. You're not even you're a chef, not a judge. Ow, okay, now I'm getting a little low on health. Give me some health. Oh, that one went flying. Oh, that's better. Crossing examine counselor. Yeah. Agent Poole, an important thing to do when you're feeling overwhelmed is to take breaks. So before I push that button and start the next dish, let's take a break, okay? Good idea. Oh wait, are there are there more of these now? <laughs> All right. I still don't have yours. There was one over here that I couldn't get. 
Uh. Come on! No! No! Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, I'll get to that soon. Oh, come back here, you little... Oh, vault. What do you got for me? Compton on his own, alright. Oh, they have their own little, like, beehive thing, okay. Uh... And then Compton tried to... Handle Maligula on his own with all the... Oh, and he got washed away along with all the animals. Oh, and, uh... Oh, that's the funeral for... For Helmet. Okay, so Bobby is definitely... He definitely survived, at least. Okay. Ah, and they, uh... Oh, that's kind of sad. They, uh... They only opened up this HQ after that, so Helmet doesn't even know about it. And it got its own desk. She left. Oh, and all the voices without her. Oh. Man. Alright, there is another one. Oh no! Oh, that was close. Okay, I got 31 of uh, 51. There's probably one more vault around here somewhere. Oh, there you are! I was only trying to help. Okay, so he sneaks in. Is this like him younger or something? I don't know. He's getting all these pets. They all show him love, I guess. Oh, he gets overwhelmed. Oh! That's so sad! And they all blew up because... He, oh, man. Oh, and that really scarred him. Ah, and that's how he became part of the team, how he met Ford. Yikes. Wow, yeah, yeah, he's, um... Ah, oh, man, I feel, I feel bad <laughs> for the Bulls. They all seem to have it kind of rough. Ow. Um... Oh, here's one. No, two. Ow. Uh, any I'm missing? Uh, 39 out of 51, but I'm not seeing where they all are. Maybe they appear per round, which means I probably missed some last time. I don't know. See, Agent Bull, you can do it. Next one won't be so easy. You got that right. For your next dish, you'll be creating a strawberry jam croque madame. Ooh la la! Uh -huh. You'll need to boil another egg. <laughs> easy. Okay, that one. some bread. I've already risen to the occasion. Uh-huh. Slice it up. Bread's much nicer once it's been through the slicer. <laughs> and fry it up on the griddle. I'm getting ready to rip it. Flip out! Uh, well, what about the strawberry, huh? Hey! <laughs> Glad you asked. We'll need not just any strawberry, but a strawberry that's been... blended. Did someone call for patty puree? Oh. All right, monsieur. It's time to show us your best madame. 
I wonder which ingredient he'll select first. All right, uh, let's do it in order. And I think it was you who. Wait, no, was it? Yeah, it had to be you because there was an egg right beneath you. I hear you worked with my brother. And to think I could have ended up a stupid chicken. Walk in the kitchen, please, especially with that. All right, then we need a piece of bread, which I think there's only one of in this entire audience. Yep, I'm lighter than I look, right? Right? Can't make <laughs> Madame with that bread as it is. Ow. Okay, he's placed the ingredients. Will he be able to pull back the pork chopper's action hoof? Yeah, now to grill ya. Um, I'm trying to get to the grill. Uh. This way. Alright, this one's done. This one's good. We only have five more seconds. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I oh, you, you're panicking a little too much there, bud. Alright, and then we need to blend a strawberry. That's where the strawberry goes, that's where the egg goes. Ah, you won't be disappointed. The uh, blender's the best way to get my juices out. Mm, yeah, I guess I'll go with this one. Uh, I need to go this way. What are you waiting for? I'm working on it. Uh... Moving blades, razor sharp. What could possibly go wrong? Uh. Ow. That looks painful. Okay, um. I'm out of things to do, so I guess I should have done this first. I didn't realize it would take this much time. Ba, 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 ba. Ow! You almost done? Come on, there we go. Where are you going? Oh, okay. Ew. Ow. Ow. Oh dear. Oh, that was close. Did you get caught in a jam? Are you worried about croaking? Oh, come on. Lay off on him. Reveal the meal. What is it? Oh, 
What do you have to say for yourself? We have uh, attempted to infuse this dish with... Oh, boy. Um, Curiosity and resilience. The more sensitive palates among you will also discern just a dash of regret. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly better than a mouthful of nails. Okay. And that's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box. Another one. Now be gone and bring us more food. Well, you two must be feeling great after producing such a quality product for our judges. And speaking of quality products, uh, it's another one time for a word from one of our sponsors. What's it gonna be this time, huh? Eat it, bees. Oh, Christ. <laughs> uh, they point me out. Yep. Oh, uh, this is so silly. Give me that. Uh oh. I sentence you. My baby. Yep. Come on. Oh. Whoa. Council must not badger the gavel. Oops. What you gonna do now? Don't mind if I throw you the book at ya. Oh, my bad. You can have it back. Ow! Can I throw the, um... Can I throw the box of bees? No. Come on, bring out your gavel. Or book. Oh. Oops. Well, I'll just take that from you. My power comes from justice! Not that... Ow. Okay, fine. You can have it back. This is a court of law. Oh, it's not. It's a TV show. Thank you for helping me, young man. Oh, there is more. I don't know what I'd do without you. How would you feel about taking a little break before I push that button to start the next switch? Just what the doctor ordered. Come on. I hope this doesn't mean I missed any, uh, permanently. Oh, right, I'll get that. Hang on. Oh, hello. No, no. No! Um. I don't want to forget to pick up my mystery. All right, nothing up here then. I can't get off these things. I wonder what my mystery is. Yeah, I got it, Raz. I got it. Hold on. Oh, another one at the camera. Ow. I don't want to forget to pick up my mystery. I get it, Raz. Hold on. Oh, I'm close. 49 to 51. 
Alright, that's all the ones I can see. Oh wait, I see one over there. Oh, I think it's the last one. Oh, wait, maybe that's not what I thought it was. Uh, it's not a segment. Did I ever find your tag? Ow. Yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. Come here. Yay, more health! I'm getting crazy amounts of health here. You know, we might just get through this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hope I didn't just jinx it. Mm. Me too, because it's time for our third and final dish. Straight from the Lumber Stack Diner, uh -huh. it's the Honey Pepper Pancake Stacker. Oh no. You'll need another egg. Uh huh. We're old friends. He boiled my dad and grandfather. <laughs> oh, this time that egg needs to fry. Oh. Then I'm your guy. Next, you'll need a boar. I'm just a pig, but trust me, I'm gay. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, as long as that pig gets sliced. That's a little sick, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wait, I gotta pull a double shield? <laughs> to get our pancake stack that signature beehive look, you're going to be using an actual beehive. Ooh, I'm all a buzz. Yeah. I wish Cassie were here to handle those bees. But wait, there's more. The final touch of summery sweetness comes from a watermelon. What do I do with the beehive, though? That's been chopped. Sure, I guess. Uh, kind of still thinking about that. <laughs> and then blended. Oh. <laughs> Looks like I'm the big fan. Oh, maybe I should do the watermelon no pressure, first. It's going to take a while. This is Ford Cruller's favorite dish. To mess this up would be an insult to the very heart of the Psychonauts. Oh, yeah. boy. So, chefs, better get cooking. Um, right. So, let's, um... I could work miracles with that egg, I'm telling you. Careful. <laughs> oh, boy. I got plenty of health, I'm fine. Uh, next, I should deal with the watermelon. That is gonna take the longest. Time to chop that melon, chef. Ingredient in position. Now, let's quickly grab the pork chopper's hook. Get out of there, kids. Those blades are sharp. Stop it. Quick, hit that button. Who are you talking to, Rez? That watermelon is still a little chunky. Better bring it to the blender. Uh, that was close. Blender, blender, blender. Ow. Come on. Get in there. And blend. While you're doing that. Um, next. Oh, oh! I need to boil the honey. Okay. They didn't really say anything about boiling it. And boil that beehive. I can feel it's helping my lower back already. All right. It's left. Oh my! Next is um the ham, and need to chop it and then kill it. Uh, pigs never fly! Oh, no! They were Ooh. sliced it! You know what? 
This is weird. Petey? Uh, <laughs> is that you? Oh no. This just got a lot weird. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, that wasn't so bad. No kidding? Well, say hi to your dad. Um, um, there we go. Then I need to skill it this. Oh, ow. It doesn't smell nice. Alright. Mmm. Is that honey pepper boar bacon I smell? Oh, yeah, it is. Well, will be. Now, the chef remember where the serving plate is. Of course, I can remember that. Come on. Give me some credit. Okay, the egg is done. Oh, both are done. I should be able to get them now. Oh, that's a dangerous thought. If you're willing to go that far. Ugh. Finally, the watermelon. Get moving. All right, on time. Well, for better or worse, it looks like the dish is assembled. Just. Whew. Lumber stack. Lumber stack. Lumber stack. Have I mentioned that when prepared stack, improperly, the honey stack, pepper pancake stack 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 can produce an lumber interesting stack, byproduct? No, stack, I didn't mention stack, the possibility of a deadly stack, swarm of killer stack, bees. Ah, no. Uh, uh oh. Let's see what we got. Reveal! The meal! Uh... Is it good? Is that the tallest stack you could manage? It's taller than it looks. Because we put the literal height of the horizontality of the flavor profile, if you will. What? Okay. At least you tried. You actually <laughs> moderately pleasant. Well, that's better than the last time, I guess. And that's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box. Oh, well, wait, that's not the right one, though. Looks like you've won over not just our judges, but also our audience. How do you feel? I, uh, well, I, I, I couldn't have done it without this young man here. No way! You can totally do this on your own now, Agent Bull. <laughs> no, don't say that. Uh. That's great to hear. Because it's time for... What audience? Uh. Double down! Uh oh. No! That's right, it's time to double down! Uh. Chef will be cooking alone in our isolation station, completely dependent on his sous chef to gather the ingredients he needs for the final three dishes. Uh. Okay. Don't worry, Agent Bull. I'll get you all the ingredients you need. What do you think, judges? Ready for another course? No problem. We're professionals. And we might have to make a little room. Okay, first dish is vegetable medley. Ingredients on the board. I'm getting out of here before things get messy. Ooh, boy. It's like a, a boss battle. Oh, it is. Ew. Okay, that's gross. One of those disgusting rooms might hold the key to our victory. Oh no, he's got the wrong ingredient again. Perfect choice. But is it too late? Good job, guys. What are you All right. doing? Come on, I know you don't say it's an egg, sir. Ew, ew, ew. Please stay clear of the goat wretch for my sake. All right, uh... Ow! Okay. 
around. Oh, oh I, I wouldn't touch that if I were you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, this is gross. All right. All right, now we need a strawberry. Ow. To see that, I'm going to close my eyes. Oh dear. Thank you. Ow. This is so gross. It's a strong word. It's better. It's a ingredient. Now I just have to make this dish all in fine. You'll be fine. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh. Oh no. Didn't mean to fall off. Off. Get off. He did it. We did it. Ew. What's that last part? In the double down round, the chef's assistant must serve the dish to the judges. Let's see if this young man has a passion for service. Uh, oh dear. Oh, it looks like oh. our judge liked that dish. Perhaps a little too much. Oh. Oh, but it looks like someone's ready to get back in the mix. Oh. That's gonna be messy. I'm out of here. Second dish is royal borscht. Good luck. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, please tell me this batch has the ingredient. In you. Well, we'll see. Nope. I don't want this. Nope. No offense. Nope. Finally. Yep. Oh. Uh, There's a vomit on this one, but I'll cover it up with spots. Ew. Yeah, little piggy, come jump into my kitchen, will you? Alright, now we need a pig. The goat is charging! Is that supposed to be Casey's hands or something? Controlling the puppets? That would make somewhat sense. Oh. Piggy! Piggy, Piggy, go home! All right, down your neck. More of you guys. Yeah, try out here, man. Oh dear. Come on. Ow. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. It looks incredible, but the judges say it's inedible. Serve it before it gets up and walks away. Eat, 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 eat. Eat, 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 eat. Eat, eat, eat. All right, let's see if our second judge can exercise a little more moderation. 
Uh-oh. Hey. Someone's been overserved. <laughs> and it looks like they're getting ready to flip out. But our final dish is no oh, laughing boy. matter. Mess up these jam tarts, and you'll find yourself in a sticky situation. Oh, I'm low on health. More ingredients. What do we need? Beehive. Nope. 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 Spoil the dish. Nope. We don't need one of those nope. right now. Here we go. Yep. Oh, that's great. There's gotta be one somewhere. <laughs> Alright, next watermelon. Come on, give me some ingredients. Oh, you never want to see how the food really gets made. Now. 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 Ow. One of those disgusting lumps might hold the key to our victory. Why is he picking up the wrong ingredient, I wonder? Oops. Wrong ingredient. Here comes the speck. Exactly the pick. There we go. Why is it always the last one I get? I guess it was one of those goats recently regurgitated a strawberry by any chance. Whoa! Ow. Quickly, saw through that partially digested bounty and find the music of the ticket. Ah, yes. Last ingredient. I, I don't want to taste it, but I feel like this one will be my best one yet. Come on. Ow. Oh, boy. Oh yeah. Ow. Uh oh, bad timing. Oh dear. Oh yeah. Well. Who are these jammy fellows? Show them quickly, young man. You never know what these things are. Eat, eat, eat. Come on, eat up, man. Eat up, puppet. Run for the hills, folks. Ah. Uh. Oh. oh. Uh, just... What? Well, I don't know about you, but I've certainly had my fill of excitement today. All right, everybody, let's clean up this mess. Aww. Come on, get a move on. Clean kitchen, clean mind. Ah, uh, you see, this is why I usually get takeout. <laughs> okay. Okay. <sighs> oh, <laughs> that is so Cassie. But what do you mean they won't let her out? What librarian? Hmm. Hmm. Here, my boy, you've earned this. I need to go find Cassie right away. Wow. He certainly got his act together. Lost. We'll never get lost. I know that forest like the back of my hand. Wait. Don't you want help? Hmm. Guess he doesn't. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. That, oh, man, that was awesome. With this senior league. 
pass, I can get to Agent Crawler in the bowling alley and try to reconnect that aspect of his mind. The, the very last aspect. one. Or at least I th think so far, but... Uh, I think I've streamed for long enough for today at least. Uh, this was fun. Uh, as far as I can tell, no one's joined to watch, but whatever. Doesn't really matter, just fun hobby. Okay, well... I don't know. If I'm feeling up for it, I'll probably be back t uh, streaming tomorrow again. I, I am enjoying this game immensely, as anyone who will watch this can see. Uh, and I... I want to figure out what the mystery is. It's... The mystery is definitely not obvious. It is so... complicated that I'm even I'm having a hard time figuring out what's going on. And that... That just makes me enjoy it so much more than I would if I, I actually came up with a uh, good theory about who the mole was. I keep coming up with theories, and some of them are sticking, but the mole, especially that, is... I'm at a loss. I can't figure it out. At least so far, and I'm loving that.